Oh, hello everyone. So we're just finally unloading our semis from the other day. It rained last night, so we still can't get into the fields. Uh, I think I might go check my other field there quickly, but I think Jim wants us to help him go semi shop. I'm up for that. Let's get to it. So we're going to run down to our other field, our soybean field down here. I just want to go check it just to see uh, how long it's going to be before we get into that field. So we're racing down. This is across our grass field here. We did get a good cutting of grass here recently. And it is right here. So this was planted a little bit later. Then the other field means we purchased it late. Hmm. Yep. When you put these beans in your mouth, they do not crunch. So it's still going to be a while. They aren't green, but they just need to die down, I guess. So maybe a week. Alright, so we'll get back over here and we need to uh, go feed our cattle a little bit. Jump over here. Alright. So we will jump into our uh, feed truck. Okay, we'll start mixing this up and then uh, we'll feed our cattle. Alright, we didn't get a full load up there, but we got most of it mixed. So we're going to take this down over here, feed our dairy cattle. Alright, we topped them off with uh, some TMR. While I'm going around here, I usually go and check these out a little bit. Just to make sure none of the cattle have any injuries. Uh, none of them are sick. We do have hay bales still, so looking good. Uh, hey, uh, you're in front of my door. Do you want to move? I need to get in the truck. I'm going to have to dupe the hazard this. I'm glad I put this little uh, grate here so most cattle will not walk over this. So that way I don't have to constantly close this gate. So it's kind of nice. They're scared to walk over this uh, basically barred in little hole here. We used to use them all the time at our old farm. They work nicely, but there are some cattle that just aren't scared of them and they will walk right over them. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna go see what Jim needs us to do. Uh, what he exactly wants us. I don't know. I mean, we're not buying a truck, but maybe just wants our advice. I have no idea. Got the 7140 and the combine uh, brought back to the farmyard here uh, after we harvest our soybeans. Uh, my wife did love her Christmas gift, so she's been driving it all over the place, so that thing is a beaut. Love the rims on this thing. Just uh, wish I had them rims on my Jeep. So we're going to take uh, our Ranger, the Danger Ranger. I just love this thing, even though it's a danger. So yeah, we're gonna go uh, run over to Jim's. So I'm uh, pretty sure Beans' his corn was wet before with the slight bit of showers we had last night. We're still probably not gonna get into the field. We might try it later on, but I know he has some stuff uh, basically, he wants to purchase another uh, truck, some type of semi. He doesn't think he has enough semis or grain capacity for his uh, harvester. So, them big beast uh, 8 series harvesters, they really take a lot of trucks to keep up with them and keep them running in the field. You'd be amazed how many just one harvester will uh, make you know, 
four, maybe even five if it's a big nine series harvesters just rolling constantly. So he only has two, so he wants another one. Uh, while I'm here, I'm actually going to go to the dealership. So I, I did buy a little portable washer. So you know me, I'm OCD sometimes, so I like cleaning my uh, equipment. But I don't want to have to transport it back to the field, so I got this new. Got this beautiful trailered uh, pressure washer here. Has lights all around it. It's gas powered. It's got a little heater on there to uh, basically keep wash wherever you need to. So it works great for washing off your driveways, washing off buildings, all that stuff. Uh, it does have little uh, containers in the back here for all your soap or whatever you need. It's electric start little uh, Honda engine right there. Everything other than that, it's just plain Jane little uh, trailered washer, but I think it's going to be extremely valuable. I'm always trying to find, wash all my equipment. I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm just weird. I did notice when I pulled over here, this dealership got a brand new... S780. Look at this beast. Has some big old Goodyears on it. What are these? Man, 400s? Am crazy. That is one good looking beast right there. The green beast. Do you like them tires on there? Uh. Obviously, this is uh, out of our price range, but I just thought I'd look at it a little bit. Beautiful. All right, let's stop messing around, get over to Jim. As you know, Jim's just right across the street here. His little itty bitty farmyard. Not really small, but it's small for Jim's operation, let's just say that. Everything looks normal, like we left it basically, so Jim hasn't been doing much, like normal. All right, shut that off. Let's go in here and see what Jim wants us to do. All right, Jim just wants us, he said he, he just wants our opinion on a new semi. So we're going to, I'm going to ride with him over to the dealer. We're going to see what we got. Jim, your truck is just full of options. I cannot believe how nice this truck is. Kind of, kind of envious. Just say that. Maybe I should have bought a Ford. Oh well, my GMC is running great. Problem with driving like uh, my new GMC with the leather seats and the Denali, I mean, is uh, when I get dirty at gyms, then I have to ride that, get in the truck and ride it back. So, don't really like doing that all the time. So that's why I'm driving the Danger Ranger. Look at all that shiny semi. Woo! That's beautiful. All right, so Jim's talking to the dealer right there, and the dealer said, uh, basically, just go around, snoop around. If I need to test drive something, I can. Haul in horse. Okay. Obviously, Jim is not looking for a cement truck, but uh, kind of good looking cement truck there. I don't know. I mean, that's a little bit inappropriate, but I guess it's a trucker's way there. Insides look nice for this Peterbilt. Uh, obviously a stick shift. Not a bad looking Peterbilt, but obviously he's not interested in that. All right, so this looks like we got a, uh, what is this, a flat black Peterbilt here. Kind of like this Peterbilt, to be honest. Like the chrome on it. Looks like this is a 389 Peterbilt right here. It's got the 871 in it. Inside. Woo. Yeah. Beautiful insides, that's for sure. Got the two speed stick shift. Got the sleeper in the back, pretty nice. Don't really need that. Uh, power windows, power locks, all the options you ever need. Not a bad looking truck. 
CB radio. I mean, this thing is kind of fully optioned. Not a bad truck. I don't think Jim's going to want a sleeper, though, but you never know what these uh, trucks, what deals they have. What is this? Oh, a freight shaker here. Freight liner. Look, this is a big old sleeper on the back. Has a toolbox in the back. Let's see how this freight shaker looks inside. Not bad. We got a two-speed two stick shift, it looks like there. Kind of has a weird design on all the posteries in here. Man, that is crazy how high that is. You could definitely just stand up in the seat almost. It's nuts. Uh, it's got kind of standard all the controls. Not a bad truck, but this is kind of more of a hauling truck. Looks like it has 300,000 on this for mileage. So, I don't know. Not a terrible, but I guess you get this at the right price, it wouldn't be bad. Not crazy about freight shakers, so. though see what we got over here oh we got a little old repair truck this obviously has the Har Holland arse on the front Peterbilt uh, what is this uh, looks like a 389 style Peterbilt service truck here got a welder in back a Miller welder air compressor uh, looks like a generator well you got a Cutting torch, gas, uh, yep, you got a little uh, battery tray, you got everything you need. You got a boom arm, and uh, looks like you got a little uh, roll up air compressor, vice on the back. This thing is basically fully loaded. Uh, somebody, it looks like a white paint can just blew up in here. That's kind of odd. All right, so we got a Kenworth W900 here. Uh, I'm kind of liking this uh, orange kind of paint scheme they have going here. Not too bad. I do like the the little uh, rear end covers it has here. Beautiful. Look inside this thing. Start this old girl up. So this could be an option, I think. We should try to test drive this. Never know when, uh, Jim, I'm not for sure what style of truck he's looking. Oh, uh, yeah. Going down the road now, so. There's something about when you're driving a semi down the highway. Looks like there's still a lot of crops that needs to be taken out of these fields. It's been kind of a wet fall. So that's why Jim went to tracks. Gonna try to get in the field a lot. He has a lot of fields to get done here. That's why he's looking on buying a new semi, that's for sure. Kind of like the Kenworth written on the, the doorways there. The door. Hmm. Not a bad truck. I don't know uh, what he would be able to get into this with, but... It's an option. We back this up nicely so the dealership uh, doesn't get mad at us. I'm surprised they're not out here watching us do this. Alright, so what exactly is this? This looks. Oh, this is an old logging truck. Hmm. Uh, what is this? Peterbilt uh, 389 style? Yeah. It's got uh, three axles. Triaxle rear or triple axle rear. Looks like it came off of a uh, logging company there. Kind of like all the chrome on it. Kind of looks nice. Let's see, uh, is this able to be converted back? I don't know for sure if this could be converted back to a regular semi. I guess you could obviously take this off and just put a regular hitch style back on it. Then it'd be good to go. This rack, I guess, could stay on there. It got some LED on the racks. That's kind of nice. Hmm. Not a bad inside. Uh, looks like a two-speed shifter there. Uh, it's got... 
GPS on it, everything you need. Of course, we don't really need that if we're just uh, hauling short distance. Got a new radio up there. Hmm. Kind of got, I kind of like it, but I don't think, uh, Jim, we have the time right now between harvest and there to, uh, get this thing ready for what we need to basically haul green trailers, so don't know if he, he's probably not going to be interested in that. Oh, what is this? This is a Superliner Mac. It's kind of an old school Mac. Got the whole front end chrome. Air intake. I kind of like the old school wheels here. The continental re uh, rims and tires there. I got the tree all over it, but this is definitely a remodeled uh, old Mack truck. An old Mack with a sleep. Hmm. Kind of like all the interior and everything. Not bad. It's got a new GPS uh, screen up there. There's a radio. Is that the radio? sure where the radio would be in this old Mack truck. Got the chrome pedals down there. So, hmm. let's try to give this old girl a spin. I, I do like the breathers on these old Mack truck. I mean, look at that thing. Man, looking good in this old Mack truck here. So, I'm kind of liking this old school style the chrome. Uh, I know Jim, he really likes the Mack trucks. Uh, he definitely likes the Ford trucks too, but Mack's kind of the same body style as the uh, Ford 900s. Kind of got the same look to them. Got to stay between the lines here. It's a touchy big reel. This steering wheel on this thing is giant if you look at it. Man, that thing when you're driving this thing, it almost like puts you back into the seat. It's like the, the seat springs back. Like once you start driving, you slowly start creeping back into the seat. Way back. And then if you brake, see? I don't know, like the, the slider on this seat is a little bit off or something. It's kind of weird. Slowly creep back. Brake. A little different, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe it's an uh, air shock seat like that. Kind of got the brown interior in this old Mack truck. So this isn't a bad option here. Uh, I don't know exactly what Jim's looking for. He's still talking to the dealer. This thing is just a beaut. I mean, look at that thing. Wouldn't mind having this old truck park this, try to park this as good without getting it into the tree here. Actually, I'm gonna keep it away from them branches. Don't want to have them uh, wind brushing branches on this old butte of an old truck here. What do we have here? We got a giant cat old truck here. Now that thing, I just love the front ends of these big cat trucks. I mean, look at it. it just looks mean. So this Cat 680 has a CT13 uh, cat engine in it. Uh, it does have def fuel in it. Not too shabby. Don't know about this green uh, paint or not, but it kind of, kind of digging it to be honest. It's got the dual, uh, it's got the dual muffler pipes on it. Let's see. Looks like it has GPS on it. Everything's. This is a newer truck than the other ones, so everything is nice and looks like dash. I'm really liking it. So, looks like everything inside is nice and convenient. It is all black interior. Pretty good vision out of this cab. Uh, really liking this, to be honest. So, not too much detail in this cab, but just enough, I guess. We'll cat. Wonder if uh, Jim will ever go away from the Ford and get a nice cat. So, 
I think this is a truck or style of truck that I would pick if I was Jim. I just kind of like this, but you know, these might be a little bit too expensive. I have no idea what Jim's budget looks like, so it's kind of inappropriate to ask that type of thing, but he just told me to let, he just set me free to try all these trucks for him, basically. That is what I'm doing. Kind of liking this uh, old semi. I have to tell Jim if he's asking me if he's looking for a semi, this would be the one I would pick, I think. So we'll just park this old beast right here. Can't get it over there in front like they needed. So this definitely, let's see, this has a triple axle. Looks like it has a dual third axle there. Kind of like the new style of them trucks. Uh-oh. Looks like they have a Jim's favorite. A 4900 here. So this is an old uh, grain dump truck here. It's got a box on the back. Looks like an old chromed out box. It's kind of different. So this is a triple axle. It's got the dual tire uh, third axle. It's got the extra fuel tanks. Looks like it's a uh, kind of a flat red paint scheme here not too bad here it looks like this thing does have a little bit of miles on it so it does have what is that 210,000 miles on it so kind of odd for a dump truck like that because they don't really get driven like the semis do more just for uh, farm trucks but a lot of these get converted from semis and Ford here we'll have to see you never know what I don't know if uh, Jim still wants another Ford 900 or not. I know he has two of them already at the farm, so I don't know if he wants a third one or not. Park this old beast up there, so pretty good uh, old truck there. So that's another serious option. Ooh, look at this old black cat. So this has a uh, rear, rear uh, dump box on it. Uh, so it's also a triple axle, so a lot of these uh, old dump trucks are triple axles so you can get more grain capacity in it or even uh, quad axles, turn axles or whatever. They're getting a lot. That's just so you can uh, legally carry more uh, grain with them. I just love how mean this thing looks in the front. The thing is just mean looking telling you I, I think this is my favorite style right here the dump wagon so I'm kind of digging that old uh, gray paint it has on it so this looks like the other truck basically but it has a dump box in the back pretty much the same thing to be honest it starts up nice probably won't test drive this I kind of like the front lights it has on it and probably plow lights I guess I don't know but Sometimes it would be nice when you're driving into a field to uh, load up at night. Yeah, it's beautiful. This looks like it also tastes death. So this is a 680 with a Cat 13 on it. Ooh, kind of digging the blue. I'm really digging this uh, flat blue. So obviously this flat paint is really coming into style nowadays. Sure seems like it. I mean. We got this dealership has a few flat painted uh, trucks here. Really digging. I'm kind of digging the blue. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this. I think this is a nice old dump truck here. Let's see. Let's start this up. Let's see if we can lift the rear end here. See how it works. Yeah, it lifts up. So this has an old chrome box here. So yeah, you could use this for silage too. That thing lifts high. Not a bad looking box on this old thing. So this is a triple axle with a dual uh, rimmed uh, third axle there. Uh, it looks like a single cylinder lift there. 
Don't know if I'm crazy about that. I really prefer the double scissor lifts, but not terrible. Does have the dual mufflers. Nice and quiet, doesn't isn't too loud, doesn't take depth too. It's a serious option right there. Alright, so now it looks like we got a Mack truck here. This also has a dump box on it. Beautiful looking truck here. Oh man, this thing is really nice inside. I'm not the red kind of clashes with the flat uh, orange here, so it has flat orange. It's also a triple axle. Looks like it has Michelin's on it. All black uh, box there. It's got a toolbox. Don't know if this is death or not. This might be an older uh, Mack truck here. Don't see death on it. It's got uh, blacked out uh, windows there. Kind of like, I guess the cats have blacked out windows or that blue one did at least. I think we'll try to test drive this one here quickly. Thing kind of purrs there. So I don't, is that the gear shifter up there? Yeah, that's odd. Never noticed that before. That's a little odd having it up there on the dash. Does have an aftermarket radio. So pretty clean interior. Like I said, I'm not crazy about the red uh, chair trim here. Kind of, I think clashes with that uh, flat orange. Do like the door here, so interior looks really good on this truck. So all the gauges work. Yep, purrs down the road nicely. Not a bad truck to have, that's for sure. All right, so Jim kind of agrees with me, and he uh, picked out actually this blue cat truck so basically he wants a dump wet truck like this just for the odds and ends of a farm you never know when you could use something like this for hauling gravel hauling anything really but this is kind of convenient when you think about it having one of these on the farm especially when he just has two semis already so he's gonna get this he also bought this little uh, pup trailer over here, so we're going to pull that so the blue one kind of matches it. Kind of a nice little uh, operation or rig there, I should say. Uh, I did make sure all the hydraulics, all the lifts work on it. Uh, so he, this is a newer cat truck, so this is a 2016 cat truck. Doesn't have too many miles on it. So we got this for both the trailer and the truck for 250000 That is one heck of a price tag, but he uh, thinks that it'll be a investment on the farm at least, so this, we can use this for harvesting. So he wants me to get this hitched up here. So we'll get into this truck. Lower that down. Wait for the air to build up in this thing. Alright, so now we gotta get this over here and back up to this trailer. There we go, can't see anything out that mirror. Alright, let's see if we can hook this up now. Got it hooked up. Hook up the hoses and everything. Squeeze through this little itty bitty fitting before we get off too far. Make sure this thing breaks. Yep, everything runs good. At least we don't have to worry about uh, going back in the chair so much. Uh, I don't think we need anything more. I'll talk to Jim, see what he wants us to do. If he just wants us to take this back or is he going to drive it? Jim says drive it back to the farm. So we're going to take this, drive it back to the farm. How many axles does this have? Though? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six axle semi. So this would be a 22 tired rig here. A little bit more to 18 wheeler. I do, I do kind of like this was my favorite truck that I uh, test drove in, a, or I, I guess I picked out. So this is definitely a good old rig to have. So this will definitely be a benefit on the farm hauling uh, grain, 
hauling odds and ends jobs around the farm, hiring some dirt that you need moved, or whatever you need. I think this is a smart investment for somebody who already owns two semis. Man, does it have a little cojones in it. Thing will purr down the road. Running down here. So Jim called, says that he thinks he wants to try to get into a little bit of corn. So we're going to go try to at least start up, get started in corn maybe today. We'll park this truck right behind his Jim's other truck right here. see if this corn is ready to go all right looks like Jim just pulled up there behind us so uh, we will try to get into the harvester and start running a little bit so we are just gonna go test some of this corn I think it's probably gonna be still too wet just to be honest I don't think Jim I know this was the first uh, corn he planted and he believes this is probably going to be his best chance for dry corn there we go harvesting now uh oh yeah so the monitor here says right now we are running about uh 28 percent i think that's too cold or too wet for him yeah i don't i don't think it's go time but it's jim's call not mine yep Looks like we won't be going today, but thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.